Welcome to this is a video where I compare Chlorian versus Kaching DPS wise and what it's like playing the two of them. This is also a follow up video on the Chlorian versus Kaching pre release analysis video I made about a week ago. Uh, Chlorian and Kaching in this video will actually use the exact same artifact set for Peace Thunder and Fury. Uh, I will be doing 1201 Australis Vist as a demonstration for the first test, and here are the builds of the uh, teammates. Uh, as for the builds and talents of Kitching Chlorand, my Chlorand is double crowned as her normal attack isn't used. And this is her artifact set that Kitching will also be using. For my Kitching's build, she will be using the exact same artifact set and weapon as Chlorand. The only difference being that the uh, crit mask. It will be crit rate instead of crit damage. Here's a comparison between the two. The crit rate one has slightly better substats. And another thing to note is that my Kaching is C6 and triple crowned. Um, if I were to reference Kaching mains, which I'll also leave a link to this page in the description, uh, the damage increase over a C0 Kaching is around 32%. Keep in mind, in this team, in this first team comparison, uh, I will be using Kazu Official and Nahida as their teammates. And keep in mind, the damage distribution graph is roughly spread out. So even though Kaching uh, is C6, she won't be doing the entirety of the team's damage, as Fischl also holds a significant portion of the team's damage as well. Uh, here, I'm going to run their runs side by side for you guys to see, and I'll also put up a timer. Here, I'm also going to make the two teams' rotations as similar as possible to make the comparison as fair as possible as well. Please keep in mind, throughout this entire video, my Kaching is C6 and she would do roughly 32% more damage than a C0 Kaching would do. For this open world boss fight test that you're seeing, I ate crit rate food for more consistent testing. Both Chlorand and Kaching in these test runs both have 100% crit rate. As you can see, throughout all these test runs, a C6 Kaching is almost identical, if not identical, as a C0 Chloran with the same exact artifacts and weapon. This also includes their teams as well. So who's actually the DPS between these two characters? Well, it's important to keep in mind what one can do better than the other both ways. Some things to keep in mind is that playing Chloran doesn't require any stamina to optimally player if you have maintaining stamina on Kaching. This is because Kaching's optimal damage rotation actually requires some charge attacks. Typically you actually won't run out of stamina often, but there are cases where you actually might. For example, if you're applied with Cryo, it costs more stamina to dodge or use charge attacks. Chlorine can also sustain herself unlike Kaching. Another thing to keep in mind is that Chlorine's team rotation is less flexible as Chlorine's skill has a damage window and a cooldown. Another thing that's really important to keep in mind, which I'll actually demonstrate, is early in this video I had mentioned that I'm going to make the rotations as close as possible to make the comparisons fair. However, Kaching actually has a more optimal rotation for official's damage herself. This is because Kaching can actually use her skill to apply Electro and then Kazuo can swirl that. However, with Chloran, if you want to apply Electro first with herself, that means you would have to sacrifice her damage window or her burst, which both provide a lot of damage. This is important to try to apply Electro not using Fischl, because when you swirl Electro, Oz can actually snapshot that buff. And you could make the argument that after you 
Swirl Electro, you could recast Oz to re-snapshot the buff, but that slightly adds more time to your rotation. That could be a big or small deal to many players out there. Additionally, being interrupted on Chloran is more punishing than it would be on Kaching. That is because if you get interrupted during Chloran's damage window, you lose precious time during her stance of just 7.5 seconds. However, on Kaching, because you don't have a specific window of where you can do damage, it's not as punishing. Overall, whichever things you prefer between these two can be the deciding factor for you for whether you think one is better than the other. For example, you might prefer running Chloran over Kaching because her normal attacks cover more AoE than Kaching would. Or however, on the flip side, maybe you prefer playing Kaching over Chloran because she has a more flexible rotation. At the end of the day, both Chloran and Kaching are both good DPS units that can clear the hardest content in the game comfortably with proper investment. If I had to make a final verdict, I would say that a C0 Chloran is better than a C0 Kaching, and only a C6 Kaching can compete with the Chloran DPS wise. Please comment down below if you have any questions. I read every single comment and will try to my best to respond to all of your comments immediately. Please consider liking the video and subscribing if you wish to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in another video.